Hello world, welcome back to the channel. In today's video we will discuss how to connect a mixer to the computer. Whether you are a budding musician, a podcast enthusiast, or a content creator, getting your audio from your mixer to your computer is crucial for high quality production. In this video we will explore different connection methods, computer settings, and software configurations. I will show you two different computers because one has one audio input and it's like that. The other is two separate audio inputs and it's also like this. So we will discuss in both situations how to connect our mixer to this type of computers. First, let's address the USB connection method. Many mixers come equipped with a USB port like this and by this port it's allowing a direct digital connection to the computer so when i tried this method plugged the usb cable into first mixer like this and then the computer to connect and transform the audio unfortunately i couldn't get the audio from my microphone to the computer. So in this case I just use this USB cable as power source cable and plugged it into the power supply and just plugged to the electricity. So if you have also encountered this type of situation and couldn't get the audio to the computer, don't worry, there is an alternative solution that works very well. So I purchased these two 3.5 mm stereo jacks to RCA Phono Plugs cables. These cables provide a reliable analog connection between the mixer and the computers. So for this, first plug cables end into the mixer's outputs. So white is left and red is right. This is for the first cable. And as you see, the another remain side is 3.5 mm stereo jack. And for the second one, again, red is right and white is left. And again, we have now two 3.5 mm stereo jacks. And if you have this type of computer, like microphone and audio inputs separately so we can plug into the microphone and audio inputs separately for each stereo jack so by this method it allows for smooth audio transfer and now we can capture the audio and sound from the mixer to the computer but only if you have separate audio input computers like this. So what if you don't have this type of separate audio computer input? As you see, we have two 3.5 mm jacks, but only one audio input in this type of computer. So in this case, we need a USB sound card like this one. This sound card works like an intermediary, enabling the connection between our mixer and computer. But of course, you don't need to have like this type of sound card. All these type of sound cards, which have separate microphone and headset audio inputs, works very well. So connect your mixer's output to the sound card's input using the appropriate 3.5 mm jacks, like this. So first we will plug into the microphone jack and then we will plug into the headset jack. Then plug the USB sound card into an available USB port on our computer, of course in an appropriate way. So that's it. You are now ready to transmit sound from our mixer to the our computer. I use lavalier microphone with XLR jack which requires 48 watt phantom power. 
but of course you can use any type of microphone with XLR jack and requires of course 48 watt phantom power. Let's look at the computer settings to ensure everything is configured correctly. For this, open the sound properties on your computer by right clicking on the speaker icon in the taskbar and selecting sounds. And in the playback tab, just set the USB audio device as default speaker. So for this, just hit to set default button and then hit to properties and reach to speakers properties in levels. Speakers I set 100 and microphone 0. I didn't set any effects. In advanced tab, a default format, I use 16 bit and 48,000 hertz DVD quality. And then come to recording, and in there you can find microphone. Just set the microphone as USB audio device, and in there hit to properties. In the microphone properties, just set the properties like this levels for example 99 i didn't set any effect and the format one channel 16 bit and 48000 hertz these are the best settings that i find for me but you can play around with the sound properties for both microphone and speaker for your computer to get the best audio result based on your mixer and microphone so in here, ensure the input and output devices are set to USB sound card in the sound properties window. So this will ensure that the computer recognizes the audio coming from the mixer. So if you are using Adobe Audition or any other audio editing software, we also need to configure the settings within the software. So for this, uh, open Adobe Audition and go to the edit. In edit, go to the preferences. In the preferences, look for the audio hardware. Ensure that default input is USB audio device like this. And default output set to the USB audio device as well. The remain properties just stay like this. Hit the OK button. And this settings will allow Adobe Audition to receive and process the audio signal from your mixer. So for a trial, hit the record button and just remain audio settings like this and start recording. And there you have it. Using the correct cables, incorporating a USB sound card, if necessary, of course, and configuring the computer and software settings, ensure that your mixer communicates flawlessly with your computer, resulting in high quality video recording. If you found this video informative, subscribe to our channel, give it a thumbs up, and share it with others who might find it useful. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more exciting content. See you in the next video.